Hey guys, it's me, your boy Doki. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. If you could leave a comment, tell me what your favorite color is, what your favorite animal is, what kind of band you guys like to listen to. I, I want to know. Uh, leave a like if you could be so lovely. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for content goodness. And ring-a-ding-ding -ding that dingling bell down below because YouTube likes that shit. And uh, I'd appreciate the support. Um, if you guys want to support me even more, you guys can get content early down on Patreon if you want to become a Patreon supporter like these lovely people that you see on the screen now. Look at them, look at them, and be be jealous, and, and, and uh, they're all without them. Um, I, I wouldn't be doing any content or anything whatsoever, so they, they genuinely keep the lights on. Um, so thank you so much for uh, supporters now and in the past and in the future. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, Dobby, Dobby, this one's for you. This one's for you. Read it, read it, read it. Am I the asshole for wearing fake freckles? Why is this one for me? Oh, because you're fake. That's why. Hey, oh, that was fucking rude. Shut up. I'll shit in his pillow later. Don't worry about it. Am I the asshole? Yes. yes. What the hell was that? Huh. That was beautiful. Am I the asshole for wearing fake freckles? I work in a beauty supply store, just say Alta, where we sell makeup, hair care products, etc. We got these little freckle pens in recently. When I was younger, I'd always get new freckles in the summer from playing outside all day. Now that I'm older, I try to take better care of my skin. I use sunscreen and try to limit my exposure. And I miss my freckles. So I decided to try the pen. I pick out the lightest shades so they would look natural. It worked wonderfully, and now I use it almost every day. I met up with one of my friends for lunch yesterday, and she looked at me funny and asked, Have you always had freckles? I told her about the freckle pen, and she told me that it doesn't sit right with her soul. Is she a ginger? Is this why she's asking? Because... That's funny. Because they have no soul. She said she was bullied as a child for having freckles, and now people wear them as a fashion statement. I told her that, that I just thought they were cute, and she said that it felt like cultural appropriation. Oh my god! Please, Dobby, keep reading. I want it to get worse. Please. I don't think I'm in the wrong here. Obviously, it sucks that she was bullied, but I don't think using a freckle pen is the same as cultural appropriation. Edit. For those asking, the pen that I use is by Lime Crime. I got a shade amber. <laughs> but they have a couple of darker shades, too. And a magenta shade, too. Not waterproof. Did you do that, Burt, because we've been getting a lot of comments thinking that this voice is an AI creation? Yes, because fuck AI. Dobby is a real house elf and a real boy. As for my friend, I'm probably not going to use the pen anymore when we hang out. I only see her once every few weeks anyways. It's not really worth it in my opinion. Yeah, well, uh, I think this one's pretty cut and dry. Not the asshole. For sure. For sure. Like, unless you're some sort of vampire. <laughs> yeah, from Twilight. And your, your freckles are your sparkles. Then I don't see what you're seeing there, friend. <laughs> I, you know what, Dobby? You always called Hawks BTS. I get it. He's beautiful. He's really beautiful. All right, fellas, I'll take this one. It's either going to be really funny or really depressing, according to this title. Go on. Oh, God. I... please. Guys, am I the asshole? Uh, I say so. Yes, I... this is the first time and only time I'm going to agree with Ox. For refusing to give a donut to a kid at a party. <laughs> oh my god, no. I can't believe I'm posting this, but here we are. 
I have a mixed group of friends and some are saying I was wrong, so I decided to let Reddit decide. Well, this is her first fucking mistake, but uh, bitch do you. My husband and I were invited to a birthday party. We asked if we could bring anything and the host said it was not needed, but we could if we wanted to. Since I don't like showing up empty handed anywhere, I thought it would be nice to purchase some bouquet donuts. Boutique? No, wait. Yeah, no. Boutique donuts from an artisanal donut shop near us. This is her second mistake. She probably spent anywhere up to $50 to $100 on fucking donuts when you could have gone to the donut star, gotten a dozen for $5. Yeah, I'm sensing asshole. And I could smell it too. Sorry, I had Taco Bell for lunch. We got a bunch of the donuts and the one gluten-free donut for my husband, who can't have gluten. Yeah, who who can't have gluten because he's a gluten fuck idiot. Anyway, side note, no one at the party has any gluten issues. We know these people fairly well. We got to the party and set the donuts down. Immediately, this kid and his mom decided to come over because, in her words, these are the best donuts in town. Wow, thank you for bringing them. I open up the boxes immediately and the kid throws his hands down on the gluten-free one. And so I kindly said, Oh, sorry, I'm saving that one for my husband. He can't have gluten. I picked out the donut and set it to the side. And I proceeded to tell them about all the other wonderful flavors that I got. Cookies and cream, Nutella. It was donuts galore. The kid immediately starts crying because he wanted the one I took away and his mom proceeded to begin tearing at me and yelling at me for not just giving him the donut. He's just a kid and I was stunned. I immediately just left the situation, went outside with my husband's donut and gave it to him. I was mortified. I thought she would calm down, but no. The lady proceeds to go outside and make a scene about it. A big argument ensued about how I refused her kid a donut. It was comical at this point. I calmly stated my point again and this donut was meant for my husband who was gluten free and I know no one there has an issue with gluten so her child could have had one of the others. This lady wouldn't let it go. So here is where I thought I was the asshole. At this point, I'm sick of her entitlement, so I told her just that. She is an entitled little brat, and now I know where her kid gets it from. She starts crying, making a scene, and leaves the party. The host and everyone there is mortified, and they tell me I should have just handed the kid the fucking donut. And my husband sticks up for me, and we decided to leave early. Well, fellas, what's the verdict? Oh, in the great words of Michael Jordan, fuck them kids. I feel like all players involved handled it like an immature asshole, so that's just kind of my point. Like, the kid's just a kid, the mom didn't have to react the way she did, and in the end it's just a fucking donut. I'd be embarrassed if I was anybody involved. Yeah, I'm gonna kinda have to say everybody's the asshole here. Like, lady, you didn't have to go and get these boutique donuts, you could've just gone to the fucking 7-Eleven and picked up some Krispy Krams. I know I just said two places, but don't, don't kill, sue me. All right, Hawks, you take this one. Ayo, okay. So I just read it on the screen here. Yes, idiot, read it on the screen. I know you've spent too much with your boy band, BTS, whatever. Just read the damn screen. All right, all right. Am I the asshole? Oh, yes, yeah, most yes. definitely. Uh, okay. Am I the asshole for accepting and refusing to return a gift from my son's girlfriend? My male 23 son is five months into dating his girlfriend, female 22. She's a complete delight to be around, and I think we've bonded quite a bit, despite the short time we've known each other. Now, I have to mention here, she is very rich. She's a rich girl, but she's gone too far, but you know it don't matter any... Hello Notes? No? Am I the only one? You're just... old, Tomra. You're old. And it's okay. Cause it's a bitch, girl! 
my son estimates that the money that she gets from her parents every month is about the same as his yearly income. Yikes. My son has expressed to me several times that he's worried it might look like he's only dating her for the money. So he's been really strict about things like paying his share of things and not accepting expensive gifts from her. Yesterday was my birthday, and his girlfriend got me a very expensive designer handbag that I mentioned being excited by months ago, even though I could never afford it on my own. Hmm, I have early thoughts, but I'll save them till the end. I am so touched that she remembered the short comment I made long ago. I told my son about it, and he became so angry at me. He said that he's had to refuse so many gifts, outings, and vacation plans since they've been dating because he can't stand her thinking that he's into her for money, and here I am, happily accepting the gift that she's gotten me. He demanded that I return it, immediately, or I'll disrupt the dynamic of their relationship. I refused, and I told him it's such a thoughtful gift, even not considering the price, and she'll be hurt if I return it. Now he's saying I'm greedy and don't care, and that I'm making him out to look like the gold digger whose family is out to mooch her. Well, fellas, what do you think? Listen, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Divorce the son, marry the handbag. Yeah, I feel like this relationship is going to go downhill, not between the mother and the son, but between the son and the girlfriend, because I feel like male 23 doesn't know how to communicate with his girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta agree with Shigaraki on this one. I feel like most relationship problems would be resolved with a little communication. If he didn't want to come off as a gold digger, then he needs to communicate that with her and she will communicate right back her feelings. So, Mom, you are not the asshole. Yes, I agree, I'm not the asshole. She give me money. <laughs> Did your voice just crack? Yeah, shut up. <laughs>